Inside Hualien's quake, a short but violent tremor, powerful enough to throw furniture across the room. For these people, a lucky escape, but many others are still picking up the pieces. On Thursday evening, no let up in the search at the Yuncui building. Rescue workers still pushing their way into the rubble. From the apartments above, the body of the final victim, Melody, a Filipino maid. But the focus was now on the hostel that had been crushed. Seven people remained buried inside. And those efforts rewarded overnight. We found signs of life this morning at between 12 and 12.30, and now we have been drilling downwards from the third floor. Access has been a huge problem. This may look like the interior of a normal apartment, but everything is tilted at a 45-degree angle. The floor, a slippery hazard the rescue workers have to climb. And all the time, the threat of aftershocks that could collapse this structure at any time. Since the authorities uh, released the news that they'd heard uh, sounds of life inside the building, they've had these two ambulances on standby. But we're getting very close to the end of the 72-hour window, and that makes survivability in a disaster of this kind highly unlikely. Sadly, the miracle was not to be. The bodies of Peter and Frida So found on Friday afternoon in a final embrace. But the search goes on extended for another 24 hours. A family of five from Beijing, three generations on vacation, still unaccounted for. Elsewhere in Hualien, efforts shifted from rescue to recovery. We must demolish these buildings right now. What we don't want is if there were to be another earthquake, they would cause irreversible damage to the buildings around them. So this is an extremely dangerous building, which must be demolished now. The Marshall Hotel, cleared two days ago, but now consigned for demolition. Heavy machines smashing up the walls of this building that had stood for 40 years. Tony Cheng, CGTN, Hualien, Taiwan.